WWE wrestlers are larger than life characters, and in some ways, they're like real life superheroes. I mean, they are called superstars for a reason. However, at the end of the day, every WWE star is just a normal person like you and me, and just like us, WWE wrestlers have their limits. Hey, get a gosh. Did you get the f away from me, please? <laughs> wrestlers have been harassed by fans and even the media, causing them to get angry. In fact, some incidents have even led to real life fights. Before we see that though, you have to see this clip of Sasha Banks lashing out at a fan. It's always good to not blindly believe everything you read online, and the legit boss was quick to put this fan in his place. While doing a meet and greet, a fan asked Sasha a question, only for the boss to snap. I know that you had um, left WWE because of the creative issues, so... Um, Is that the reason? Yes. That's what I read. Oh, that's what you read. You weren't there. <laughs> so no. So what, what, what's the real reason? Why would I tell you? Why would I just tell you? I want to know. You ain't going to see my interview. You ain't going to read my book. Right. You ain't going to see me in the future. I do all of that. Yeah, I hope to see right, you guys. All right, then just wait. Our next friends, but you are Then you just wait. I got you. Okay, cool. Thank you, JJ. Rey Mysterio is widely considered one of the nicest people in wrestling, so if he's starting to get ticked off, you know the other person is in the wrong. After getting off a flight, Mysterio was approached by a group of fans in the airport. They had multiple items for Rey to sign, and the master of the 619 saw exactly what they're trying to do and let them know it. They don't let us do like this anymore, so I'm signing for you guys to make money. <laughs> and we appreciate it, honestly. Ray, I've been a fan since I was a little kid, man. Let the fans come up and ask for an autograph. Well, I, I actually am a fan. Back in the 80s, dude. That's why I'll sign I, one. I'm a huge fan, man. <laughs> I signed one for you. Chris Jericho might not be the biggest wrestler of all time, but that doesn't mean he isn't tough. Far from it. For some reason though, people felt it's okay to disrespect the seven time world champion. After an event in New York City, an obnoxious and angry fan decided to get in Jericho's face and tried to fight him. Despite the hostile nature of the fan, Jericho remained calm and cool and barely reacted at all. Although, in true Canadian fashion, Jericho later apologized for the incident, saying he shouldn't have even acknowledged the rude individual. Ironically, when Jericho was in his home country, his reaction to rude fans actually led to a brawl. We'll be seeing that insane clip soon, but first, someone very similar to Chris Jericho is MJF. Maxwell Jacob Freeman III is arguably AEW's most popular wrestler. The ironic part is the reason fans love him so much is because of how mean he is. However, MJF in real life is more like his wrestling character than most fans realize. While checking into a hotel, a few fans spot the wrestler, and MJF held nothing back and actually threatened to get physical. You always so mad, Max? That's going down. That's going down, Max. What in the world? Really shows how much he cares for his fans. Vince McMahon, the former chairman of WWE, is a lot like the character he portrayed on TV. During an interview, McMahon was asked about wrestlers dying young. How Vince responded was anything but professional. I would accept no responsibility whatsoever for their untimely deaths. None whatsoever. As far as, and you've got that little look on your face like, yeah, I'm, geez, I'm, Vince, how none, can you possibly none, say that? Well, but none whatsoever. I mean, they wrestled mean, for you. They, they were part of they, your organization. They worked a couple of hundred nights a year for you. They oh lived God. this oh, lifestyle. Oh, oh my God, you can't, you can't believe. Oh, can you see that look? I mean, oh, how can you possibly say that, Vince? How can you look that way and you're giving me the old sympathetic stuff? No, I'm not. Stuff? I'm, I'm, I'm honestly curious. Because I told you, these individuals work for our organization at one time. This clip is exactly why you should never try to surprise a WWE wrestler on live TV. In January 2024, Ellie Knight and Grayson Waller appeared on a morning show to promote WWE's upcoming show in Perth, Australia. The show's manager came on to jokingly challenge Grayson Waller to a fight. Waller, though, did not find it funny at all. I don't think you understand, like, if I come over there- Mysterio, John Cena is also considered by many to be one of the nicest guys in wrestling. However, just because he's nice doesn't mean he can't get upset. When when a fan approached Cena with a camera, the WWE star gently told the man no. Can you, you can't see me like... Uh, sorry. However, this next fan interaction did not go as smoothly. A social media personality named Modine saw the leader of the C Nation in public and began harassing him. John Cena, WWE. Isn't it? Thank you for asking. Why is that you? Oh, no, thank you for asking to take your video. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. 
Sorry about that. Despite the fan's apology, he kept filming and waited for Cena to exit the store. If you need anything, just let me know. I, I, I'm a good guy. Yeah, yeah. that's ass. Okay. You're gonna use this without no. my permission. But, well, I, I, You're gonna use I, I, all I, I, of this without my permission. No, but you didn't ask to shoot. You're still filming. Oh, I man. appreciate it. Be respectful. All right. This is what happens when fans make fun of a wrestler online and then meet that wrestler in real life. YouTuber JD from New York had made fun of Ryback on social media. Later, the social media influencer was attending a convention that Ryback was also at. JD approached the former WWE star to ask for a picture, but got something completely different. I'm really, really sorry, man. Uh, that was totally the producer. And I was joking around with that tweet. You said that you called me a pussy. People, you publicly, you've never met me, you don't know me yet. You're publicly talking to me, and then you do an impersonation on your show. The that image you put out, no, but it's you. You make the decision to do it. Don't blame it on your but you see, it's, it's disrespectful of so many levels. You don't know me and how hard I work for this. And you, a guy that you're a fan. And I wanted to see you do You've never done this. And there's people like you that do this that give me a bad image. Ask anybody that knows me what kind of I'm going to have. That eats me alive. Guys like you boy, you do that. Why? I would never in a million years go and disrespect another human being like that. Yeah, you got to show him. Be entertaining in your own way. Yeah, don't yeah. pull me into that world. I know, I know. But you do. It's on you. So don't say it's your producer. No, no, I got you. It's, like, it's, yeah, it's like, my job. Be better than that. You're in a, you're in a position yeah. to influence people. Don't be a this head that makes the world better a worse place. Make it better. And you have that opportunity that you do it. You bash me in this net. Oh, I'm joking. You've never met me. You don't know me. You don't, not at all. So I appreciate you apologizing, but you've already been calling me a pussy. People don't know that you've never met me. You don't know me. So like, it just, you being disrespectful, and there's a certain level you don't cross, and you did, just be better. I highly doubt the security guards in this next clip kept their jobs after what happened. After the WWE show in Victoria, BC, Jericho is leaving the arena when a swarm of fans crowded his vehicle. A particular female fan was very pushy with asking for a picture. Jericho attempted to get back into his vehicle, but when the woman tried to touch him, a brawl started. The security guards did not know how to handle the situation, and Jericho was so upset that he actually started fighting them too. Luckily, Jericho got back into his vehicle and quickly drove away, which was not only good for his safety, but for the safety of everyone in that parking lot. Now, if you want to see the insane ways wrestling fans got themselves banned, watch this video.